Globalization is a process of interaction and integration between different nations with cultural and social aspects. People and goods move easily across borders and the interdependence of the world's economic, culture, technology, flows of investment, communication, transportation, and everything are growing. Today, we are becoming more interconnected by trade and culture exchange as every country and people in this world interact to develop progress and international influence. George David stated that we are at an optimistic time in our world. The barriers between nations are down, economic liberalism is decidedly afoot and proven to be sound and so on. And that really makes up globalization. Trade and investment are soaring high. The barriers are open for every country to interact with each other. And we are expecting for a more developed world through this. A professor at the University of Hawaii Manoa in political science and one of the leading experts in globalization, Manfred B. Steger, comes up with six core claims. And we will focus and discuss the first core claim, which is globalization is about the liberalization and global integration of markets. The dominant variant of globalism focuses on the concept of market, and it merely extends the free market to be exact. The first core claim came from the liberal idea of the self-regulating market as the normative basis for a future global order. The liberalization and integration of global markets are presented as both desirable and natural phenomena that promote the individual liberty and material progress in the world. Liberalization is one process that's lessening the government's restrictions and regulations in an economy in exchange for greater participation by private entities or the so-called the loosening of government controls. It is generally used to refer to the freeing of markets from state intervention. Such restrictions are hindrances in the development and growth of the nation. So because of liberalization, it put an end to that. This is a way for one country to have a more profound economic state. And do you know that first world countries undergoes liberalization process called global integration? It means the process in which certain local markets opens up to the world or the global economy. It is letting the foreign factors to influence a certain local business environment. But how does integration and liberation of market affect the economy of third world countries? With all the resources and research, here are the things that we've found out. First, it gives more opportunities to those people who want to have a business in a free market. The consumers in the Western countries can be thankful to the producers of the third world countries because of the cheaper prices and healthier products. There are more possibilities that the allocation of the workers would be better and producers will be more productive due to the demands. The barriers of the international investing will remove so that the market can be open to everyone. There will be a restricted flow of capital and it will lead to higher growth rates. The stock market would have a good performance because there will be more new opportunities. The political risks will be reduced. The first core claim can be associated to Adam Smith's invisible hand in his book The Wealth of Nations. He explained that an economy will work well and will develop in a free market scenario where everyone will work for his own interest. A free market scenario have no restrictions imposed by the government. And by this, an economy can function if the government will leave the people alone to trade freely. Therefore, the liberation and the global integration of the market in the 12 world countries are good. It's because we can really see the good things or advantages of it. And this is how the developed countries started and now they are emerging more and more developed. It can boost the productivity of the economy of the developing countries, consumers, producers, and exporters can benefit too by increasing the amount or access to economic resources.